It is a sight to behold, but one which future generations may not get to savour. This is an exhibition at London Zoo of healthy coral originating from the Chagos Islands in the Indian Ocean. But a new study has revealed the devastating impact warmer seas are having on the rock-like substances found on the seabed. The Chagos Islands are a remote archipelago in the Indian Ocean, about 300 miles south of the Maldives. Back-to-back -back heat waves killed 70% of Chagos Island's coral in two years, although coral that survived the first heat wave proved more resilient to the second, hotter heat wave. When water is too warm, it can result in coral bleaching, which means they lose their pigment and can turn white. One of the unique things about our study in the Chagos Archipelago is that it's a very remote and uh, protected area, which means that there's no direct human impact there. So there's no fishing, there's very little pollution, for instance, which means that we can really separate the effects of climate change effects from those of direct human impacts. So it's some real evidence of the effects of climate change on coral reefs, which is one of the most sensitive ecosystems to these problems. Climate change is causing sea levels and water temperatures to rise. This new research may help us better understand how coral can weather and even regenerate in a hotter world. What it's showing us, this research, is that uh, nature can adapt, um, but if we push it too far, then it gets to the point where nature can't bounce back. And that's the point where we're doing damage beyond repair. And one in six species, for example, is at risk of extinction as a result of climate change. Um, and it's that, that, that's the reason why we need to act so urgently to try and prevent this in the first place. By 2050, coral reefs are expected to have diminished to such an extent they won't be able to support marine life in the way they currently do. Another frightening insight into the devastation being wreaked by climate change. Lisa Holland, Sky News.